This is Jai Martinkovic and David Flint with Can Do TV. David, the recent poll that was taken in France talking about the Muslim vote was very revealing. What did this show? Well, it showed and was taken by Le Figaro, the established uh, French newspaper. And what it showed was that 93% of Muslim voters in France voted for the socialist François Hollande, which led to the defeat of Nicolas Sarkozy because the number of votes which were Muslim votes which were cast for Hollande was more than the narrow margin which defeated Sarkozy. And it's uh, not unusual, not unexpected that the Muslims voted for Hollande because he promised them that he would give those who were in the country who weren't yet citizens a vote in the municipal elections. He also indicated that he was favourable to more Muslim immigration. He also indicated that the almost half a million illegal Muslim in, um, immigrants into France would be given an amnesty. This is something which has been replicated across Europe. You find that uh, the left-wing parties are indicating favours for the Muslims and the Muslim voters are voting for them. And this is increasing the Muslim immigration into Europe. So this is essentially buying votes. Uh, and are we, are we seeing this occurring in Australia? Well, I can't believe that the Gillard government could be so stupid and incompetent as to leave the borders open. The solution is quite simple, uh, changes to the Immigration Act so that uh, refugees whom we choose come into the country, people who have a much stronger case than those who fly into Indonesia on come in as tourists and then come to Australia having destroyed or hidden their passports who then we're finding that over 60% of them are still on welfare after five years. This is an intolerable situation. Is it, one must ask, is it a, a uh, votes for votes policy as we found in relation to the United Kingdom? Of course, a, a litmus test that can do is suggesting is that we apply a test based on need, national need and merit. Uh, do you think that this, of course, would solve that problem? Most definitely. There are simple amendments which can be made to the Immigration Act. The, uh, the, the people who, who favour the present system say that we're bound by the provisions of the Refugee Convention. It's for Australia to interpret the Refugee Convention. It's only, it is an international treaty. The Germans have done this. They've interpreted the treaty in such a way that people can't just barge in and uh, demand that they be admitted. And that's what's happening now. Well, there certainly needs to be some consideration to these changes and uh, to, to take that in its holistic approach. This is Jai Martinkovic and David Flint for Can Do TV.